the Atari 520ST. That's for sure. Yummy. Well, sort of yummy. The Amiga CD32. First 32 bit console. Apparently, it does work. <coughs> it doesn't play discs now. Apparently, the laser's been replaced. It still doesn't play discs. It's not a beautiful shape. The camera probably won't show it. Well, it is actually a bit grubby around this area. I don't know what it is. It's you can't wipe it off. It's not dust, so I don't know what that is. Not the cleanest of machines. But if you look at the back there, look how shiny that RF shield is. <laughs> it's actually spotless. So that's a good sign. Yeah. And this is that. Um, I think it's rust, but it's not from the power pack. Yeah, I've already tested this. 5 volts and 12 volts, fine. So, and some goodies. Got the, the dirty goodies. Yeah, one of my favourite games. Go for the Chaos Engine. Yeah, got him. Roadkill. <laughs> There's not much left of the case. <laughs> yeah, Lamborghini, American Challenge. Yeah, the two-player option. Diggers. God, camera. Diggers. I should put gloves on, really. Right, let's say I plug it in and test it. Neat. Oh, let's it. God. Let's see if this does anything. Ready. It was alright. Get um, an RF cable. Check the RF on it. See if that kicks out on black and white as well. Right, it didn't work on RF either. Yeah, that one in the advert. So no controller, no colour, no CD. CD I knew about. The controller. So I knew about. You see, he's got it somewhere there, but yeah, let me know. So, yeah, whatever. I probably won't hear from him again. I've got another controller coming in. I've ordered another one. Uh, got that nice and cheap. <laughs> for the, they're on eBay for like 70, 80, 90 pound for a controller. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Uh, first thing first, I'm going to clean it. Uh, let me get my gear. Nice and white. Won't be long. That stuff coming off. Nope. Yeah. The camera's showing it. Yeah. That's just the top. That's the good side of it. The badge is in good nick. Normally there's paint nicks out of it and all sorts. It's not marked on the badge. Or the glass. Or pair of specs. There's no scratches, not that I can see anyway. So that's good. Basically it just looks like a cow sat on it and it's had a vindaloo the night before. I don't know what it is, but it's gross. Yeah, about 
white thing, wherever it is, is there as well. If you can see this area as well, see the white. I don't know what it is, but it's not coming off. Jeez Louise! I'm just putting it out there. If you're going to sell something on eBay, at least clean the friggin' thing first. Really? <laughs> At what point did you think that was clean? Get on there! I'd like to see your bloody house, mate. Jesus. I was going to um, clean these as well. I think I'll just order some new jewel cases. Because most of them are cracked anyway, so there's no point cleaning them. Almost looks new now. A dry solder joint as well somewhere. Let's get it open then. Now over here when you open these, if you do open them, they bring you in. It's a ribbon cable. Yes, it's basically a 1200, a mega 1200. The only difference is it doesn't have the CIA chips, odds and evens, as a keycut chip. It does the same thing, but yeah, this ribbon, exact same as what's on a, a 1200 or a 600. So you have to pop up the white bit and then use the cable out. Yeah, so we'll get rid of that. We need to turn it round to get to that ribbon. There we go. It was easy. Somebody's been in here. They've snapped them off. That's only it. <clears throat> See, there's no tabs. The tabs have gone. There should be one like that. They're bent over. But they're all gone. <laughs> right. Now it's time to get a magnifying glass out and the board we can check over. All these capacitors checked. This is a, a revision three board. Yes, somebody's done some alterations on it. On the revision three, these capacitors, yeah, were installed the wrong way, back to front. On the revision four one, I think that was rectified. These are the right way now. So somebody's been in here. If the camera will focus, this area here covered in flux, and down here it's covered in burnt flux. Right, I've been locking and locking on this board. Took it out and flipped the board over, and as you can see, yeah, found our problem. Well, I think it's our problem. Yeah. There's absolutely nothing there at all. <laughs> yeah. But that looks like a blowout. I mean, that looks a right mess. On the back plate, which it would be over here, it's clean. And if it's a blowout, you'd see a little burn mark on there. Because this is only plastic. This is a plastic inlay, I can get it out. There's no mark on it. So somebody's modified it and there's a lot of flux on the board. So people have been in here trying to repair it. I'm guessing when he was repairing it, a bit of solder has come down onto the board. And that's shorted it. Yeah. You know, I need to get the schematics out and find out if that's colour. Or is it the CD? Yeah. Or is it both? I can't see it being both. It 
be awesome if it was both. <laughs> two beds with one stone. That don't look too promising either. Got it. Uh, what the hell's he been doing here then? Right. So, there should be pads here, both of these areas. There's not. The hell was you doing down there? So, I'm guessing this one here. Joined it up here. The resistor's not actually there. <laughs> I think he's just bridged it with a bit of a uh, solder to that. Continuity there. Right, let's have a look at this one. <coughs> Make sure that's disconnected. <sighs> oh, why is she still got continuity? You're not connected there. Let's have a look. Jesus. Yeah, good old eBay. Right. I don't think this has fixed the colour. I'm gonna colour something else. Keep going to that. Ah, I'll put it in the Go away. So I've got to make a trace. If you look, yeah, this capacitor here. That trace there, there is no trace. It just filled it up with solder. So I'm going to run a trace line. Bit of him. You really got no chance of seeing that, but whatever. Tiny little bit. Oh, there you go. Bit of copper wire. I'm gonna run it along there and then up to the. We're not gonna run it to the uh, the wire because this trace here, there's no paint on it, so we can solder to that. Let's check that. that cut this this is easier said than done there so you make a trace it's fiddly as hell though <laughs> jeez Check on continuity. Make sure we've got a connection. Yeah. Got a connection. Right, so if you see on there, you can see where the pads should be. Should be a pad here and a pad here. There's no pads, so I don't know what he was doing. I don't get that. That's a resistor for the door sensor. So when you shut the door, it knows the door's shut and then the motor will start up. 
I don't know what he was doing there though. Maybe, I don't know what he did. He probably dropped some solder on it while he was doing these capacitors. Not those, just fired it up and it's probably gonna pop. That's my theory, I don't know. I shut that off. No, I always do that. Right, yeah, let's have a tidy up. I'll have a quick tidy up. This gets better and better. So I took the cover off of here because that's working now. So when the lid's shut, the power's cut. Hey, the power's on. When the lid's open, power cut. Which I should have done in the first place, but it didn't. It was continuous power, so I'm not quite really sure what was going on there. I definitely don't know what he was doing there. Yeah. So I took the case cover off the controller board. That's some serious damage. That's gone pop too. I'll probably explain why it's not working. <laughs> yeah. I don't think that's got anything to do with the colour, but yeah, that's not a good sign. I can't figure out why it keeps clearing off the CD screen and then going back to the bridge screen. It might be something to do with this, I don't know. But yeah, let's have a look at this. It looks like flux. Let's see if we can clean up a bit. Really that far down in the bottle. Not keen on this wiring job either. I don't know if this is his wiring job or manufacturer's job. I'll have to look at that because wiring's not great either. That's a bit better. Yeah, oh dear. You, this is his underwork again. That was flux. So was an explosion. <laughs> Burnout explosion. Yeah, where's my um, pointer? So if you look here, that's a resistor. That's a capacitor. And they're both connected. I'm pretty sure that's not supposed to be like that. I need to look at the schematics again. Oh no! <sighs> Enough schematics for the um, control bar, uh, control board. Ah, crap. So that <sighs> there is a big hole. That's a big hole. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that's not doing it any favours. <laughs> right. What it was doing was, when we were powering it up, oh by the way, the next day, well next morning, I think it's about 7 o'clock in the morning, anyway, we power it up, I have been asleep, what was I saying, we were power it up, on the Amiga's CD32, if you hold, press the blue button on power up, it'll go to a language select, so you can select language. This was stuck in that loop. That was one of its many problems. Yeah. As far as it was concerned, it sends a signal. When you press that blue button, it sends a signal to Paula. Saying, hey, let's have a language select. And it shouldn't do that. And it was stuck in a loop. Up here, if you see here, there's two fires here. One here and one here. There's a bit of um, solder blob coming across. And this trace here, I don't know if you can see from there, there's a little bit of uh, copper. See if I can zoom in. There you go. There's a little bit of copper there. The camera in the way. <laughs> the camera's in the way. <laughs> Where am I? <laughs> yeah, so there's a little bit of copper here showing off the trace. As you can see, it's a bit of a mess. But I've cleaned it up, trust me. Need to get all this crap off. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, so now, when we boot it up, a 
Oh! It was cool about then. But yeah, no. Not going to select the language select. So that's that one problem solved. But I just saw colour then. I did see colour. I definitely saw colour. I'll look back on this. I'm pretty sure I saw colour. I'm getting somewhere. I don't know where, but somewhere. Yeah. Hmm. I'm still not happy about that one though. Come on to the schematics. Not very enough, I shouldn't be joined. <laughs> not very enough, Trace definitely shouldn't be joined. He won't very good with this soldering on the lock. Seems to just bear to everything with it. But it's a start, so I'm getting there. Bit by bit, coffee time. On another note, found out what this weird mod is. It's a switcher mod. Yeah. Manufactured. <laughs> they actually put that on in the factory. Yeah. Apparently, there's a problem with some of the boards. So put this mod on here. A chip there. It's a switcher chip, a two-way switcher chip. That needs power for the motors. So yeah, but nobody knows anything about it really. <laughs> if it's that, I'm stuffed. See if I can find a new board. But I'd rather not. I'll wait till the lens turns up tomorrow. I hope it's tomorrow. And replace that. And see where we're at. Right, bought an S cable, this video, um, no picture at all. So the RF is in black and white, composite is in black and white. Now, yes, video is independent from composite and RF. The only place they all meet, all three of them, is the encoder chip. I've ordered a new encoder chip. I could take it out of the 600, because I'm not really bothered about the 600, but it works, which I haven't done a video on, well I have, but I haven't edited it and sorted it, and there's too much of it, because of the capacitors, the pads, the traces all disappearing and having to fix all them, so yeah, another good eBay bargain, not. I've ordered an encoder chip, which is the CXA114. Probably can't see six cameras in the way. <laughs> well, anyway, it's a CXA114654. CXA1145M. It's an encoder chip. So that's the only place that all three meet is that encoder. So I'll replace the encoder, see if there's any different then. Kind of cheated a bit. I put a video in the expansion port. And. We got colour. It's temporary. So now, the other thing, if we go to the language select, remember when it was stuck in the language boot, it go to this splash screen for a couple of seconds and then it go to language select because of that blob of solder which was on the board crossing two tracks, th making it think that somebody was pressing the blue key. Because if you press the blue key, this is what it does. It takes its language language select, which is English. Now, I've never had one of these. I don't think. No. My mate did, but I never. I played on it. It was all right. I had the twelve hundred briefly. But um, yeah, directional keys, and I'm pretty sure when you go into language select, you can go up and down. It's like a different language, but not doing anything. And it ain't this, because they don't work on any of the joysticks I've got. But the buttons work. <laughs> There's a controller encoder as well. A controller encoder as well. Which is what I'm looking at at the moment. Which is that. The LS11 uh, the LS166. LS166, yeah. Which is in U34. Now 
if it wasn't working, I don't think the buttons would work. It might do, I don't know. It could be partially working. I've had to scan the board, I can't see anything. So, it's at least me problems at the minute. So, yeah, so, got that encoder coming. Got a new lens coming, should have been here today. Didn't turn up. But apparently, it's coming tomorrow, Saturday. So hopefully I'll get that in and hopefully we can get the CD running, hopefully. But this has got so many problems on it. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> we've just done the plus four video where practically replaced every chip on it. That's nothing compared to this. Everything's wrong with this. I spoke to the guy, I sent him a message and told him what I thought. Oh, it was perfectly fine when I shipped it, mate. I had it in S-Video, and it was in full colour, because I'd mentioned composite and RF. It's funny, because I've just put an S-Video cable in. There's no picture at all, so no, he did that. Apparently, the laser had broke, so he bought a new one and replaced it. Well, if you remember from yesterday, what was it day for? Well, for you, it was probably about five minutes ago. That lens hadn't been touched. There was crap all over it. It's dusted and it, that's been there since day one, since the day he's bought this. I think what's happened is it stopped reading the disc and he started playing about with a solder and I. Hence the blob of solder over here. Now I'm hoping he hasn't shorted something out and caused Paula to go skew with it. Yeah. Well, this is in perfect condition by the way, when I bought it. Perfect condition. Just no CD. CD wasn't working. Yeah. That's what drugs do to you. Don't do drugs. Anyway, rent's over. <laughs> Not getting anything fixed by rent. So I'm going through the board now. Just I'm on a quick nose. I probably won't touch it till the um, CD lens turns up tomorrow. So I can at least get a game up on the screen. Ooh, game. All looking like brand new. Mm -hmm. Apart from the discs, because practically every single one's got scratches on them. So I need to clean them. I don't think this one, this, luckily this one's got a spur. But I don't know what's on it, because he hasn't labelled it. It was in Chaos Engine, so I'm presuming it's a backup of Chaos Engine. I'm hoping it's a backup of Chaos Engine. Yeah, it's an okay game though. I've said him, um, if you play single player, don't shoot your buddy, the computer. If you shoot him by accident, he won't leave you alone until the game's over. He just keeps shooting you. <laughs> I don't know if there was a glitch in my game on him, the 1200, but he wouldn't leave me alone a little sod. So yeah, that's all them all looking brand new as well. So we're getting there, slowly. That's why there hasn't been a, a midweek quickie video. I haven't had time. I've been stuck with this. I've been it's about what work as well, because I'm a terrorist. So I've been terrorizing clients. Got to make some money to pay for all this junk. Yeah. Somebody, um, oh, somebody messaged me on Instagram, whoever you was. Can't remember your name. Paul? Peter? Fred? Sorry, can't remember. Um, yeah, um, I'll send you my address on Instagram. I'm not posted on. YouTube channels. <laughs> I ain't got a PO box. I'm not getting a PO box. Yeah, you can send it here and I'll take a look. Yeah, don't be sending all your stuff to me just so I can fix it to send it back to you. Because, no. I've got enough crap to sort out. You can send it, but you won't get it back. I might stop the video here because it's getting a bit long. And do a part two. I know most people's Concentration expand on a video is between 10 and 20 minutes. So I don't know if you'll want to watch an hour of me tinkering with a piece of junk. But we'll get there. We are getting there. So, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Give us a thumbs up or down. Drop us a comment. Have a little chat. Yeah. Anyway. I didn't fix it in one go.
there's too many problems with it. <laughs> anyway, cheers. See you soon.